Hey, MJ. Hey, hey, come here. Come here, you. How you doing? Pissed. And so we went to try and see the Where the Wild Things Are. I know. And this is the movie to see now. I mean, I know there's... We could have seen that, um... What was it? You know that, um... What was it called? The Stepfather? That looks okay. And then there's Law Abiding Citizen. That looks cool. But the movie to see right now is Where the Wild Things Are. And... I'm dying to see this. And we get there and I say, how many seats are left? And they're like 40, which means front row seats. Yeah. Your, show how your neck would be if you sit that yeah, way. Yeah, if you sit like, here's you, like looking. Ah! Well, anyway, the thing is, if you're in there, here's what happens. Is you sit there and you look up and, and I've seen a movie like that before. I've seen Star Wars 2. It was actually cool doing that, though. It was wasn't cool that, seeing it. Wasn't that guy it. like following us with a weird face like the whole time? Everyone follows us. And the thing is, though, I saw <laughs> Star Wars Episode 2. That was one of the few movies I saw in the very front row. And it was actually a cool experience, but... The thing is, it's not always the thing to do. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what the, what the, I, I can't even say what I want to say. But, you know. but the thing is, like, when we got there, I mean, I don't even know why a lot of kids would want to see this. Because, for one thing, it's PG. I mean, I don't know why parents would let the kids. Well, then again, okay, that's not a reason. Basically, we're going to have to try to go somewhere else to see it. Yeah, I, I'm seeing this movie today. I'm not missing. I've been waiting too long to see this. And the theater that that is we work at, and I'm not going to pay to see it in my own theater. No, I know. And uh, I'm not doing that. I just. I mean, the thing is, I don't know why kids would want to see it, though. I the mean, thing is, it was originally made to be more of a dark adult kind of film. I know. You know what I mean? Either that or a movie for the kid. The problem is, there, the aren't any, there aren't any kids' movies out right now, or they've already all been seen, and this is it. That might be I mean, the thing is, it's more to appeal to the kid and all the grown-up people like you and me, who read the book as a kid. But all these kids now, unless they show... The guy's going back now waving. Who is that? Do you know him? I don't know any of these people. Oh. Think. The point is... We don't I'm, have that many friends in real life. No, I know. The point is, I am not missing this movie. No, yeah, I know. This will be an adventure in this in this video for us to see where the wild things are. I know. Hey, MJ, look at this. There's a magical rainbow of colors on the ground. If you'd like, you can lick some up. Over here. Magical rainbow. In the rainbow of colors at the gas station fun. You think they took a bunch of Skittles and melted them on the ground? You see the magical rainbow where there's lots of fun. Would you like to lick up the magical rainbow? But if you do, it will surely be your demise. You'll be dead from licking the rainbow. You'll be meeting Mr. Alkawis when you lick the magical rainbow of gasoline on the ground. Now, MJ, mm. show everybody how you sanitize your hands. Okay, this is how we both do it. You actually taught me this. One, two, three. I think you do it better than I do. Well, MJ, this is how you do it properly. Squeeze it on your hands, put it like this, and you go like this. Sanitize those hands! MJ, you know how there's GameStop and you can just buy games there, but you used to be able to get DVDs? Yeah, well that's what Maryland's known for, GameStop, just like Connecticut's known for Dunkin' Donuts. Well, there is actually a movie stop as well MJ and we, we drove almost an hour in this terrible traffic for this I don't know why it really should have only taken us about 10 minutes to get here it felt like it was three hours the traffic was stop and go but here's movie stop MJ we're gonna be in there for the first time ever yeah. are you excited well I guess I know you're never gonna forget this experience once you've done it probably not I mean, go ahead that, in after that drive I'm never gonna forget it I know you know, MJ, it may look like, like a, you know, a, like, you know, a rental store, but actually every single thing you see is for sale. Is that crazy or what? I mean, all of this is for sale. I mean, this may seem like you're going to rent this, but you're not renting this. If you want to rent this, you have to go eat Noogies, because there is no renting here. This is a, a store where you buy everything. Hmm. Yeah. Well, MJ, we just got out of, you know, movie stop, and did you really think that was much special? No, what's funny is I already knew before we even went that it wasn't going to be anything special. The thing is, you know, they got a lot of DVDs and all, a lot of used stuff, but... I don't know, first of all, the used prices were not that cheap. When you thought about it, I've seen a lot of that stuff way cheaper at, like, Soundgarden and other places. Yeah. And second of all, 
wasn't it like really like you know serious mainstream stuff? You know what I mean? Like they didn't have they didn't have a lot of obscure stuff. There was some, but some, but I don't know. Well, out of, out of seeing a lot of these places, you know, Mega Media Exchange and all the other ones, what do you think is better? I think Mega Media was. Yeah. A little bit. It yeah, was okay. They also have games too. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's kind of weird to think about it. You know, because we went there, we we heard about it for like you know about a year or two. We finally went here, and it was just okay. Mm. Now, you know, my old my my favorite video store was. It's like pretty much gone now. Mm. It was Saturday matinee. Did you ever go there? No, you know what my one of my favorites was, but well, one of my all time favorites before Hollywood Video, before Blockbuster Video. This was back before DVDs was Voice of Video. Oh yes. Was that like only a one time kind of place, or? I think so. Like, and the thing I always wonder is, and anyone knows, are there any mom and pop video shops left in Maryland or anywhere in the world, really? And if there are, like, don't you think people should film some videos showing them, yeah. you know, and promote them or something? Because, like, I always wonder if they're, like, actually video stores that, like, rent VHS and all that stuff still. I, I really can't imagine there are many. Can you? Mm. I don't know. I know. I know another video store I used to like was Blowout Video. You never got to go there. It was in Florida. That was really good. But this movie stop, it's okay. But I think the problem is I have so many damn DVDs. You think that could be it? Probably. You already have like most of the really good ones. I know. And I have a lot of obscure stuff they don't even have. But it's funny though, walking through there going, you know, all these DVDs from these people I've talked to online and stuff, their, their films are in here. Anyway though, you know, we'll see you in a few minutes. Hey MJ, you know where we're going? Deals. Sounds like a good deal. Now, do you, no, actually, wait a minute. The E is spelled out, so technically it's Dales. Dales. And you know what? They have $3 candy here. They have $3 DVDs. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm going to give you some candy. They have $1 Gino's Pizza, MJ, in Deals. You know, MJ, they don't call it Deals for nothing. Cool. Deals. Look. It's Aunt Tess's way from Witcher Massacre, MJ, in deals. Hey, MJ. Mm -hmm. Okay, MJ. Tom Wyckoff actually ate this in one of his videos. You think he got it at deals? What is it? Toxic waste candy. It's super sour. I like sour. You can. You should buy it and then try it in the car. Mm. All we got in deals, beers, was skidlets, sixlets. So I don't think I've eaten in like 15 years and snow caps. Yeah. Right, MJ? And only a dollar in deals, but yet at the movie theater, they're 375. Offs. I know. And these things, I don't think I've seen these in years. These are amazing. These are amazing. Take my word for it. Come and try some. No. Hmm. Please go ahead. Alright. <sighs> what are you doing, MJ? Nothing. Are you licking that rainbow I told you not to? No. Oh. All right, so, you know, we've been holding in these massive piazzas. Like, it's not good. I know. And now we're going we're gonna to go into, you know, as Tom Wakeoff says, Wally World and take a piaz. And if you want to see Tom Wakeoff's videos, the best way to see him is see go to Tom, the Man 68 Archive on YouTube, and you can see his videos. His videos are amazing. I know. I watch them all the time. I watch him, him, Shane Jensen, Perry Hovermill, mm -hmm. Wet Movie One, Dead Pit. Bond those facts. are the ones. Bond facts. Those are the ones I watch all the time. Oh no! Look, it's close. You have to pee your pants, MJ. MJ, isn't this like the most jam-packed one you've ever been in? Yeah. And I need to go to the can like there's no tomorrow. Let's do something to the back. I don't know. Like, you know, you just can't script things like this to happen, you know what I mean? No, I mean, it's not like we asked them to, to take that, that thing and put it there just for the video. Has it been a weird day, you know, things being, you know, sold out and all kinds of problems? And disappointments and all this. I know. Um, MJ, that's not how you're supposed to eat soups. That's the way like Uncle Fester eats his soups. Boy. Ew. Well, MJ, 
It looks like we're finally gonna see where the wild things are. Yeah. Finally, let's do this. Let's do this after all this driving around and all this, you know, stupid business we were doing, killing time. Let's just hope we don't get in there and they go sold out on only 10 seats left or something. Let's just sneak in then. I mean, normally that's not the right thing to do, but I'm dying to see Sneak this. in. If you sneak in, then you're still going to be in the front seat, MJ. All right. Well, Doesn't make it. I was sitting in the aisles like when I saw the Jetsons movie. Oh. Aren't we two happening dudes, MJ? Mm. Aren't we like the happiest, happy, hap happiest dudes? Mm. The only thing weird about this this movie theater is the bathroom layout. There's like this stall here, there's this, and there's this weird wall here, and then back there. I think it's like an extended can or something. It's kind of cool. It's kind of hard to, to lift my legs the way I normally can because I have stuff in my pockets and I'm sneaking in. MJ. Well, I can do this. Don't forget to dry your face. Oh. Yeah, MJ. Dry it off as well as you can. Don't forget. My face isn't wet. Oh, all right. L O V E. -E. It's and so. Oh. Well, Andre, we just got out of Where the Wild Things Are, directed Funny. by Spike Jones. And some of you may not know this, he was the one who was in Jackass, the, the movies, who was that nude woman. Mm -hmm. He played the nude woman that, but he also directed Adaptation and, um, mm -hmm. you know, Being John Malkovich, which was two big ones. And this movie pretty much is basically like an art film that is marketed as a kid's film. I know, that's, I was surprised there were all these kids in there, because I knew even from the trailer, I'm like, this, I don't think this is going to be a kid's movie. Uh, you know what I think they should call it? Where the Restless Kids Are. It's like the whole time the kids were like, the pop club, and they're like, oh, it's boring. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a movie for kids. I mean, you know, some, like, older kids, but it, the thing is, it's an excellent, outstanding film. It is. But oh, not yeah. a kid's film. I know, even, like, even though the main person, even the main character is a kid, it's not really a kid's movie. Like, when the, you mean kid's film, maybe, like, age, like, what maybe 11 not maybe so, 11. something like that but like when you bring kids that are like four and five they i mean i'm not no, kidding not this whole that. audience was restless it was a like a filled theater and all these kids were like walking around and going to the bathroom a hundred times and i know but it was still like i somehow knew though that um it's rated pg i think it was cut down we're not going to say how no, i heard stuff about like he originally had a different cut that was much more you know darker and everything and even though this cut is dark you can kind of tell that some points i felt like were meant to be made that were not made because it was changed i know like i could tell i mean it's still good though don't get me still don't is get good. Us wrong it's still a great hopefully film, the dvd but... though shows at least they have yeah, like i want to see because there's some stuff that we missed i'm like you know okay I, I feel like there's something here i'm not i'm not they're not telling us and basically though the movie if you haven't read the book and i haven't read the book in like what 15 20 years or something i read the book like no, I remember I owned the book. I don't know what happened to it, but I owned it. It was one of my favorite books. But it's basically this character, Max, who's like, kind of like, he, he isn't, nobody seems to really like him. They all kind of give him a lot of crap. It's, and, you can relate to him because it's really good the way they open it is how, well, of course, you pretty much figured, in the, like in the book, like, like from the trailers, he's, you know, he's just this innocent kid. He just wants to be wild and have fun, and some people don't understand him, or some people, like, you know, sort of, like, try to crush his dreams. Well, not really his dreams, but you know what I mean, like... And they, then they sort of like they sort of crush his spirit. And, and one night his mom's ignoring him because her boyfriend's over that Mark Ruffalo, and he, I, I feel like he was cut out or something because he was only in for this one bit. I know. I don't know. Like, he just he had so many problems with the family. And, and then he runs off and like gets in this boat and like gets it like finds this island with these you know these creatures. I know. Which yeah, just when they when you get on there like it totally. When he's on the island the whole time, it, you get this really—I get this positive feeling at points. Like you can escape from humanity, you can escape from like you know, this you know this world. And, like, and the movie has that you know '80s Jim Henson feel because Jim Henson effects did the yeah they did the puppets. Those, and that's another thing. When you look at the faces, if you really look, it, there's nothing about them that screams effects. Like there's some movies where you're like, okay, that's an effect. But if you really like get into it and understand the characters, you're like, you know, I'm really this isn't screaming fake to me. They really seem real. The one thing, though, I w we should admit, though, is the movie as a whole is not like one of those feel-good, happy, positive movies. Yeah, it's, it's great, very it's downbeat, not, the whole movie. It is, I'll admit. I mean, see, the book, the end of the book made me cry. I knew this would. That's one thing we should point out. Like, throughout the film, there are parts that were real depressing, especially, like, we're not going to ruin anything. All I can say, though, is you should have figured, though, the end. Yeah, I, I couldn't, st I was, like, bawling like a fiend. This whole, it kind of had that... Um, bicentennial man feel to that, it. Yeah, you know, that, that kind of like the whole movie, you're kind of depressed and you have to go home and watch something positive. Like Bicentennial Man, if you watch that, oh my God, like you're be the more. I mean, if you're not depressed by that movie, 
I don't know. I mean, I know. Uh, like honestly, I felt the same way about Alice in Wonderland, Disney's. I mean, I know you're thinking, what? It was Disney. It's a kids' movie. Honestly, if you really think about it. I mean, that movie, like, I watched it a few nights ago, and I was real depressed. It was real sad, you I know. I feel the same way about Troll 2. I know. Okay, <laughs> not about, it's a little different with Troll I'm 2. I'm kidding. Okay, it was good, but seriously, the fact that it was all, like, in his imagination, we think it, honestly, you don't know. They could have sold it off like maybe it was real. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. The thing know, is, they don't say if it is or isn't. You don't know. It's, it's kind of better, though, if, if, if it goes without saying, because with Alice in Wonderland, it was a dream, but it's similar. It's like, I get this depressed feeling at the end. I know. But honestly, I do recommend seeing it. We do, you know. I, but what I should recommend, though, is like you said, it's downbeat. If there's a real positive, upbeat film that you know you like, that just makes you laugh and makes you happy, keep it handy after you see it, so that way you won't be depressed for the rest of the week. And the kids probably won't get depressed, because I don't think they'll pick up on the depre- how I upset. I wouldn't recommend kids seeing it. I'm not saying it's a like, must-see for kids. I'm, I'm sure some people are going, it's a kid's movie. The thing it's is, not. it really isn't. No. I mean, if you saw the restlessness of these kids, they were in there, and this was like, Basically, it was us, and I'm not kidding, right. and all kids. See, with Cloudy the Chance of Meatballs, that's pretty much a kid's movie with aspects to it that are for adults, that adult, but kids can still enjoy it. With this, this is really not a kid's movie. The only thing I didn't like slightly was, did you notice some of the filming was a little shaky? That was the only thing I didn't like. I know, I noticed that. It was, like, it was like this, it was like... You know what I mean? Like, it was doing that Devil's Rejects, that, this stuff, like, the whole time. That, I think they purposely did that for that, that wild feel, or to have it, have I it guess. like, that on set, you know, like, you know, something's happening. But it's not like some of those movies where it's like, like this, you know what I mean? I know. Like that. At honestly, least it wasn't that extreme. This movie gets five out of five. Five out of five, two thumbs up, see it in theaters. Because, you know, Halloween 2 was like... Oh, that. <clears throat> like that, the whole time. I know. But, like I said, be prepared to cry. <laughs> You will. Yes. But I would recommend it. As I recommend you say, five it, out of five. And t- later, I'm going to go to the library and get the book because I'm going to read that again. Library's closed now. I'm going to have to go tomorrow. All right. Are there even libraries open anymore? There are. All right. Well, MJ, where are we right now? Little Bob Yash. Yeah. And you got turkey, and then it's like. We're both copycats of each other. I'm sorry. Normally, I'd feel real positive and like to have such a great meal like this, but that movie really hit me right in the heart, you know? It hit me in the butt cheeks. I'm so depressed. I feel the same way I did when I watched Bicentennial Man. I feel the same way when I watched Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, clean plate cup members, MJ. Hello, MJ. How you doing? It's like it's th- it's like three thirty in the morning. I think that P- you know that doing the Q and A was a bad idea again. It took us like five hours, and I just realized like we did one like months back, and we like didn't put up like eight parts of it or something. I thought, I could have, I thought you put all the parts. I didn't I check. Thought, but, I, I think, thought I did too, and then I realized we had all these ones I didn't put up. We're sorry. No wonder some people were probably mad at us. I know. What's the matter with me? Maybe one day like there ones will be put up, but I guarantee I'm gonna put these ones up. Much more. And look, it's of course it's pouring rain again, and my brother was asleep in the room, and like he was. So sort of how he was sleeping, he was like. He was like asleep. I know. Yeah. So we're just you know gonna go. I'm gonna drop you off at home, and you know it's the end of the night. Yeah. I'm tired of sheets, and we both work tomorrow at the job. Yeah. You all right? I'm fine. I'm just tired. Okay. And then Ethan wake up with that funny face. It's like. <laughs> Let's go. Go ahead, Andre. Walk into the rain. Good night. Good night. Oh, there that is.